Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on Ashika Island, which is in Warzone 2 with the RTX 4090 and we're going to be starting it off at 4K with the Extreme Preset So here we are on display, 4K, and then for quality, the Extreme Preset There we go, let's jump into it and see what we can do Okay, here we go, exciting stuff This is my first game on for today Hopefully I don't do too bad 22 gigs of VRAM usage already at 4K Extreme Preset That is kind of nuts you don't really see too many games maxing out the VRAM on the 4090 or even get like getting close to it But this game does get pretty damn close All right, this is quads. So we've got to like, stick with our teammates Let's see what they ping and then we'll follow them as they go Are they gonna ping? This is a kind of this is a tiny map FPS is sitting at 120 to 130, which is pretty fantastic And obviously as you would expect at 4k, there's not gonna be a CP bottleneck <laughs> I'm interested in seeing how this will run at Final Fantasy with the optimized settings or the competitive settings. And uh, we'll see if we get a CPU one on like there, because Warzone is quite CPU intensive, but this map is kind of small, so maybe it won't be as bad. Okay, let's go upstairs. Down the boys. Let's go, good job. Oh, he's tagged so heavy. Got that guy. He's not finished? Seriously? Nah, I can't shoot that guy. It's too far away. This guy AFK? Yes, he is. Okay, got that guy too. This game is just, I mean this card is just insane at 4k. It just feels incredible. Like with the 30, 80 and like all those cards, it feels kind of stuttery at times with um, 4k. But man, in this game, and this card, it's just insane. That scared the crap out of me dude. <laughs> His body just fell. Okay, um, give me your dog tag, it's mine now. Nice. Oh wait, another one. Got him teammate, right? Good job. Right, let's go to a shop. I need to get a loadout drop or something. This is kind of... I don't like these stock guns, you know? Kind of garbage. What is this guy do? Whoa! Alright, I got my gun. Which is a good start. Couldn't buy loadout though from that shop. Which kind of sucks. I thought they changed that, but... Guess not. I'm pretty sure this entire time we've been sitting at 100 FPS, so... I think FPS wise, this card can handle 4K at the max preset just fine. But obviously, for a game like this, you want to play with the optimized settings to get the most frames out of it as possible, while having the best looking game as well. So, um, I think for this game, I would go with a mix of low, medium, and high, and then some set to ultra as well. Um, it's mainly the camo stuff that I have set to high, and the rest I'm pretty much have at low. Yeah, I'm kind of lost now. I gotta go follow my teammates. I don't know how to get there either. Um, oh, right here. I'm gonna go upstairs. I think that's probably the best. Dude, what is he doing up here the whole time? That scared the crap out of me. Ah, he ran away. Lucky boy. Look at the bodies. Oh my god, I sent them. Someone's calling in a bomb drone. I don't want to be near that, to be honest. Oh my god! Sorry teammate. I had to shoot it so I wouldn't go down. Look at my health. I had like literally one. Losing my armor plates. I've got one left. So pretty much the whole time we haven't had any stuttering or lagging that I could feel. The game has been running extremely smoothly pretty much the whole time. And uh, I guess the stats for VRAM and all that hasn't moved that much either. Still sitting at 21 gigs or 22 gigs. And yeah, overall a pretty great experience. And for this card, it's definitely incredible. Oh no, I'm trolling. Oh, they're buying their friends back downstairs. Your squad mate's back on station. Good I see them. Alright, got one. Seven kills so far, pretty good. I 
just want to get the armor plates, you know? Armor plate, come on teammate, armor break. Come on, 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 come on. I downed him, I downed him. Come on teammate, self-revive, self-revive. Come on, no. Alright, and for the optimized settings, we're going to be using a mix of, I guess, medium, low, and high. Here we are with that. There we go, looking good. Let's jump into it. I think at the max settings, we we're sitting at around 100 to 120 FPS. So let's see what we can do with these settings. Hopefully above 140, but it might still be too intensive at 4K. Well, look at the VRAM usage. It's already down to 8 gigs instead of 22 gigs. That's a massive decrease. It's not going to be obviously in the same area, unfortunately, but it should give you an idea on how it's going to run. No. Yes, get up. All right, sitting at 120 to 130 so far. Indoors, we're getting 130, almost 140. It's pretty good. We gained, what, around 20 to 30 FPS. What's this? The, okay, the vector. Yeah, I'll take that. And then, uh, yeah, okay. Looking good. Two SMGs. I guess that's fine. Give me the stims and the revive pistol. The Lockman. Yeah, I don't know if I want that, to be honest. I like the orb, though. This area is kind of quiet, though. It's kind of sucks. I was trying to find some enemies, but... No one's even here to fight. Now look at the FPS. The FPS is doing far better, sitting at 140 to 150. And the overall quality of the game looks pretty much intact. The game looks fantastic still. Um, I think the main issue with these settings is the pop-in. You will get some if you are flying by. But I think overall, it should be a pretty good looking game while you're getting pretty good FPS as well. Now one thing I forgot to test at the max settings is DLSS. But I'll make sure to do it in this preset. The shopper, can we buy a loadout drop here? I think this guy's already going for it. Yeah, look at that. Is there a loadout? In the water we get. Come on, let's go. We gotta get out of here. This is so bad. I got one health. What bad timing. But as soon as I try to look for the... Alright. Let's try to help our teammates out. One down, boys. Got no armor, man. What are you doing here, bud? Get out of here. This is not your place. This is a pretty great map so far, to be honest. I'm really liking it. Far better than the first map, I think. Nice job, teammate. Good job. We are in such big trouble right now. It's not even funny. Holy! Thank you, teammate or enemy, for killing him for me. I'm in so much trouble, man. Okay, I'm just gonna go. There's a call bike here, right? Where is it? Go, 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 go! But let's enable DLSS now and see what we can get with that. Hopefully, we don't get bottleneck with the CPU. But we shouldn't, to be honest. Okay. I'm gonna go straight for the balance preset. Apply. I think it's a bit over sharpened to be honest. I don't even like the look of it. But I don't have time to disable that yet, so. Let's try to make it to our boys over there. I might get killed on the way. But I'll try to be quick. This one's parachuting down, I just saw them. Let's go ahead and lower the sharpening. Bring it down to like, what, 60%? It looks better, I guess, but it still doesn't look as good as native 4K, unfortunately. But FPS-wise, we're sitting pretty much at 190 FPS, which is fantastic. We gained like 40 FPS or something, or 50 FPS. Someone's over here, they're shooting a silenced RPK, I think. What a mess, what is going on in here? Oh, there's someone else out in the smoke. Come on. Oh, what a messy fight. But yeah, seven kills again, which is pretty good. FPS-wise, we sat pretty much at 180 to 190 with the LSS. Without the LSS, we were sitting at 120 to 140, which is pretty fantastic regardless. All right, 
But let's go ahead and break it down to 440p at the extreme preset and see what we can do over there. Playing the game at 440p at the extreme preset. Hopefully we don't get bottlenecked by the CPU. But before with the LSS at 4K, we were getting bottlenecked at times, falling down to the 85% usage. But FPS was sitting at 160 to 170. Alright, FPS is sitting pretty much at 170 to 180. But at times we do get bottlenecked in those more easier, I guess, uh, GPU areas. But for the most part, GPU is sitting at 90% to 95% usage. Alright, where do we want to go from here? Let's get some loot. Because we are kind of... Whoa! <laughs> I didn't want to jump in that. I was just trying to loot the ammo. Uh, AK-74U, I guess. Uh... Oh, this is the new gun! I've yet to try this out. It seems pretty OP when I was um, using it in multiplayer. Or when I was dying to it in multiplayer. It seems very strong. Kills on like two or three hits, I think. Which is kind of insane. Okay, let's try to make our way to our teammates. As you can see, we pretty much have around a 5 to 10 percent GPU headroom, which I guess is pretty decent, but FPS is still sitting at 190 plus for the most part, so it's not that bad either. I'm already in the gas, I didn't see it coming this quickly. Go, 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 go. Get me in. Whew. I got no armor plates, this gun kind of sucks without any attachments. And I'm in the enemy territory right now. So the FPS is... Oh, hello. The FPS can wait. Oh, come on. There's no way, right? Someone else shot me when I was trying to get this guy. But yeah, overall, the FPS is going to be sitting at around 170, all the way up to 200. Depending on your CPU, pretty much. I have a 10% GPU headroom sometimes. And other times, it's fully maxed out. So it really depends on your CPU at this point. But on average, you should be able to get around 180 to 200 FPS. All right. Let's go ahead and optimize the settings now and try with that instead. And here we have the optimized settings. Remember, this is a, a mix of low, medium, and high settings, so it'll be very CPU intensive. Um, so if you've got a weaker CPU, your FPS will be lower. If you've got a more powerful CPU, then your FPS should be higher if I get bottlenecked here. I've played a couple of games on this map already, and normally with these settings, I get around 190 to 220 FPS. And GPU can fall below 95%, but I think for the most part, it does fine. Uh, where do we want to go? Banning down, sitting at 210 FPS, GPU is still fully maxed out surprisingly in this area. The middle area is very CPU intensive it seems like. It's very, I guess, crowded with items and people, so your FPS might fall in that specific area. But over here, if you're just sitting at 210 to 220 FPS, which is fantastic. We gained an extra, what, like 30 FPS from what we had at the max preset. VRAM is down to 12 gigs as well from 22 gigs, which again is great. Do we want the MP5 with the... Uh, I'll get the... The Vector, of course. I like that gun a lot. Smash this up. Let's walk around for a little bit. Okay, dude. Seriously, this is just so sad. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, just give up. And again, at this point, I wouldn't use DLSS. Just lower the quality of the game instead. Play at low settings instead of a mix of medium and high and low. And your FPS should be a bit higher as well there. 4K. I guess you could use DLSS, but even then, I didn't really like the look too much. It looks kind of blurry to be honest. It looks blurry and over sharpened, in my opinion. But if you like the look of it, then obviously you can go ahead and use it. For me personally, I just think it looks bad. Let's try to get into a fight before we end the video. But <laughs> there's no one to here, dude. Everyone's just hiding. Hello. As soon as I say that, we find our first victim. Let's drop down here. Another guy. Surprise, surprise. Need pistol rounds. Yes, guys, we do. Oh, I'm gonna die here. There's two of them. Ah, oh, broke his armor. All right. I think that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow night for Atomic Heart on the RTX 3080. All right, see you guys there.